Welcome back, everyone. In the spirit of going through Spyderco and Benchmade and uh, whether or not they're worth purchasing in 2024, I figured uh, might as well continue on with Microtech. Uh, so we'll be talking about whether or not Microtechs are worth buying in 2024 and uh, the state of the brand at, at this point in the year. Um, I have not had Microtechs for as long as those other two brands. However, I think Microtech is a fantastic brand made in the USA, and I've loved every single one that I've had so far. Uh, so I have I have a lot of good things to say about them. That being said, they are on the more expensive side. So I think, I don't know, at least I tend to think Benchmade and Spider Co. are more of the working knives uh, because they are relatively cheaper. They're still higher end knives, but they are relatively cheaper than uh, certain Microtechs. That being said, let's kind of get right into it here. Um, the quality of Microtex will blow you away if you've never held one. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical, you know, are they really worth the Ultratex, three hundred dollars? Uh, some of these other folders, three hundred dollars. Standard retail, uh, Microtex very rarely go on sale. I found some good deals at local, uh, like gun shops or local knife stores or such, but uh, nationally and like online and stuff, Microtex don't really go on sale that much. Uh, that being said, again, I always advocate for checking your local stores and supporting your local kind of like knife dealers, gun shops, because they will have sales periodically, so you can kind of get some good deals. Um, but they are more expensive, so they are on the pricier side. However, the value for the price, I think, is um, typically very reasonable with Microtech. Uh, you can feel the quality when you hold them. They are working towards releasing some cheaper models, relatively cheaper, they're still not cheap, but relatively cheaper models. And they are listening to their customer base more so, I think, than a lot of other brands on the market today. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things coming out with Microtech, which is really cool and, and uh, you know, fun to, to get excited for. The new Ultratech is coming out, which I will almost certainly be buying one as soon as I possibly can. I think those things look awesome. Uh, the Cypher with the new technology coming out uh, just is, is awesome. The, the, um, they call it the dual fuel drive train. It's two springs inside. It's super easy to open and shut. Um, so that technology alone is going to be awesome. And on the new Ultratech, there's going to be zero blade play on the out the front, which is like unheard of in the uh, industry unless you're paying thousands of dollars for a knife. So the quality and innovation really are there with Microtech. They just released the Ram Lock, uh, which is their kind of crossbar lock. I think that was late last year, maybe like a year ago or so. So they've been out for a while. And the Amphibian is probably... I don't want to say uh, for certain favorite or most used, but uh, it probably is my favorite knife that I have. <laughs> I, I absolutely love this thing. The shape of it is awesome. Um, it looks great. The action is amazing. Um, it just fits in the hand. It's it's great. Do I use it uh, a ton for stuff? I feel like there are knives that I use more frequently than the Amphibian. I do use it, um, but the blade is quite thick. It's long, and it's uh, you know not super great at cutting things like cardboard or stuff. It's more of like a heavy duty work knife. Um, so I, I find myself leaning towards other things, but I do love it. That's probably my favorite knife. I, I'm always hesitant to say it's uh, my favorite knife or pick any favorite because I, I really like a lot of different knives, but that is probably my top one. Um, so continuing on, the quality for that you get from Microtex, like I just mentioned, is always very high. Um, when it comes from the factory, straight out of the box, you buy a Microtech, open it up. I have never had one that has not been absolutely razor sharp, like almost dangerously sharp. Um, and frankly, that's how it should be. Anytime you're paying for, I don't know, it's really not that hard to sharpen a knife. Like for example, buck 110, 65 bucks, probably one of the sharpest knives I've ever got out of a box before having Microtex. These companies that are charging several hundred dollars for a knife, I'm not gonna name uh, any companies, but certain companies do hardly sharpen their knives. The sharpening job is terrible and that's extremely frustrating like when you're paying that much for a knife and it doesn't come razor sharp out of the box. Uh, so that is always a plus with Microtech. The edges are always great. The grinds are great. It's really, really fine edge on there. Um, that's how it is on pretty much everyone you can see. So they really do put a lot of time into making sure that they're sharpened perfectly, which I really, really appreciate. It's just, it's, it's one of the little things that makes a difference when you get a new knife and you don't have to do any work to it. Um, 
There are some videos online of torture testing these ultra techs and you can hammer them. Like there's a, there's a guy who hammered them uh, through a tire or a, a two by four and they are still fine and working. So they really are made well, made with great components, made in the USA. Um, you know, there's lots of great things to be said about Microtech. Like I mentioned before, um, there is certainly innovation and they are listening to their customers. So what I mean they're listening to their customers. Um, when the Ramlock knives first came out, the crossbar or the like ram part in here, if you hit it on a table, it would come undone and unlock. And you know, a lot of people that bothered because it can be seen as dangerous and you know, it shouldn't be doing that. That's, that's kind of a flaw in design. However, very quickly they fixed it, implemented a new design. So this is a little more slim now and it's less likely to uh, disengage upon that. It'll engage a little bit farther up on the blade there. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but no more issues with the ram lock, which is fantastic. Um, so they, they're listening to people. They're also releasing all kinds of different models frequently. Um, they, it's it, hard to keep up with them sometimes because they're just releasing stuff left and right. They released all the Ramlock stuff. They released the Hera 2, Hera 2 Mini, the new Combat Trodon, the Cypher 2, the Scarab 2, um, and the new Ultratech is coming out. That's what everybody is really excited about. So I'm really excited to see that. I think it's going to be a game changing for the whole industry, uh, especially in the out the front market. I'm, I'm really excited to um, just get my hands on one and, and you know, see how it, how it works and if it really lives up to the hype. I'm sure it will. So, but I, I really don't have that many negative things to say about Microtech. They are very expensive. Um, it's just, you know, with these premium materials and the constant focus on quality control, you are at least getting what you pay for. But that is a, definitely a concern for some people. Um, but I, I've never had, you know, I have these five Microtechs. I've been blown away by the quality of all of them. Um, I, w I call myself a Spyderco guy now just because Microtechs are so expensive I can't really buy a lot of them. But if I could afford <laughs> as many Microtechs as I have Spydercos, then I would absolutely be a Microtech guy as well. I think they're just, I've think just i been absolutely impressed with the quality and, and just the attention to detail and the models and the innovation and listening to the customers. Um, and that's, you know, I had a lot more to say about Benchmade and Spyderco. I don't have as much to say about Microtech just because I've been impressed with them at, at every twist and turn. Um, so let me know your experience with Microtech in the comments. Let me know your favorite brand. I'll probably wrap up the going through the brands for now, but would I recommend a Microtech in 2024? Absolutely. Um, they are a lot of money, but I, I honestly, I believe that they're worth the money, especially the new stuff coming out, this new technology, the uh, dual fuel stuff, the new pocket clips are really sweet looking. And, um, you know, the zero blade play on the Ultratech. With, that's the other thing I forgot to mention too, real quick before we end the video. The Ultratech, I don't think is gonna have an increase in price with all of that new technology. So like 300 to 350 bucks for the upgraded, uh, Dual fuel, zero blade play, new clip, you know, that's that's amazing, especially in today's economy to not raise the price with offering all that new technology is just going to be great. So that's, I forgot to mention that before, sorry. Um, but keep an eye out for that stuff. I think Microtechs are absolutely worth your money in 2024. Great value for the price. You really do get what you pay for. You get a razor sharp knife, you get a durable knife, and you get a knife that's going to last you for a lifetime. Um, and I think that's, you know, something that a lot of other companies should make note of and, and really work towards a place where they can say that they provide all that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Those of you who are subscribed, um, I hope you found these videos helpful. Please, as always, let me know what else you'd like to see. Let me know what you think about Microtech. Let me know your favorite Microtech or other knife or knife brand in the comments. And um, thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening or morning or whatever you're watching this. Thank you.